In the show, two different characters are approaching the ends of their lives. One is a thief and murderer who dies and goes to hell where he has a final opportunity to attain salvation. The other is a medieval astronomer on a quest to witness a rare cosmic event before he dies. I've always thought of it as kind of a puppet road movie. One of the things that Tom is very interested in exploring is how the past relates to the present, how the cycles of life reinitiate themselves, I think is one of the strong elements of the themes of this play. We want to make a show that's based on visual storytelling, that's based on the audience's emotional connection with these characters. I met Tom about eight years ago. He was in Japan studying Japanese traditional puppetry, which he was very interested in. Meeting him had a tremendous impact on me because I saw somebody who has devoted his life to this one practice. I've been involved in projects similar to this before, but I think this one is a very special one, particularly because Corazon is a master puppeteer. He's a real virtuoso. And Tom is an extremely creative artist. Tom's approach and his aesthetic towards beauty is something I can completely relate to. I did not fully appreciate this before I came to this country, but now I understand what a great artistic sense Tom has. We often think of puppetry as just a form of performance for children, but around the world, puppets are used in all kinds of forums, in religious ritual, in love stories or war stories. And of course, puppets can do things that human actors can't. They can fly, they can transform. So they open up all of these possibilities for how the human form can be expressive in new ways. Both Koryo san and I come from different traditions. His tradition is called kuruma ningyo, and that literally means cart puppet. A puppeteer sits on a wheeled box while performing. The puppeteer's feet manipulate the puppet's feet, and the puppeteer's hands control the puppet's face and arms. The strength of the kuruma ningyo style of puppetry is that the puppet's feet are actually capable of stepping on the floor and stomping strongly. One of the things that I've been experimenting with over the years is how to use miniatures that are present in the room as objects which the audience can see, but then are also filmed live so that they can appear on stage as well. And what happens is that people are able to connect a video projection with something tangible. The worry about traditions and how a tradition can survive in the current world is a very real and very deep question. One of the things this production does, which is so important, is finding a new context for a traditional form. With this production, I'm trying to crystallize the meaning of my life's work so that I can pass it along to the next generation. We can try various things, but it is not for me to decide what to keep or let go as tradition. That is something the next generation will decide. Artists like Horyu san are disappearing. And we should find a way of honoring what they do and also making new work. And I think this piece is so important to do that.